We studied atomic mass. We understood that is the mass of an atom. What is molecular mass? Now tell me what is a molecule? It is very simple. It is made up of atoms. So, if we combine the atoms, we get molecules. If we get combine the atomic masses, we would get the molecular masses. It is of no use to take H2O, then compare it to carbon-12 atom. So, the molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule of the substance. It is therefore the relative mass of a molecule expressed in unified mass units, U. The molecular mass is just addition of all the atomic masses of the same molecule. Let's take example of these elements. These would be H2Os. If a molecule is made up of atoms, just add the atomic masses of the atom and you'll get the compound. Thank you. Now, molecular mass. Calculate the molecular mass of HNO3. How would you do that? What is HNO3? It is nitric acid. Now, HNO3. Can I say it contains one hydrogen, one nitrogen? So, you will add one hydrogen plus one nitrogen plus three oxygens. So, but I'll end up with five. You're wrong. Hydrogen has the atomic mass of 1. Oxygen has the atomic mass of 16. And nitrogen has 14. So we don't have to add 1 plus 1 plus 3. But we have to add 1 into atomic mass of hydrogen. Plus 1 into atomic mass of nitrogen. Plus 3 into atomic mass of oxygen. Let's see what we get as an answer. We get 1 into 1 plus 1 into 14 plus 3 into 16. 1 plus 14 plus 48 is 63 U. That is unified mass. Hence, the molecular mass of HNO3 is 63 Dalton. But don't you think it looks a little shabby to write just 1, 1 and 3? What are those? Can I say those are the number of atoms in those molecules? So I'll write the whole molecular formula like this. Molecular mass is equal to sum of atomic mass. Now it depends, H2O. So it has two elements, hydrogen, oxygen. And these two elements will be represented in two brackets. The first bracket will contain hydrogen. The second bracket would contain oxygen. There would be a plus sign because it is a sum of atomic masses. Now hydrogen, first there are two hydrogens. We'll do that two into atomic mass. But what are those two? Two are the atomic Mass is right, wrong. Number of hydrogen atoms into atomic mass of hydrogen. Similarly, number of oxygen into atomic mass of oxygen. Why did we do that? Because there are two hydrogens. How many hydrogens are there? There are two hydrogens and one oxygen. So how many number of hydrogen atoms? There are two hydrogens. What is the atomic mass of hydrogen? One. What is the number of oxygen? 1. And what is the atomic mass of oxygen? 16. So instead of doing 1 plus 1 plus 16, you could do 2 into 1 plus 1 into 16. The answer would be 2 plus 16, that is 18 unified mass. Similarly, let's get the formula of H2SO4. H2SO4 contains two atoms of hydrogen, one of sulfur and four of oxygen. See, I blasted your myth. There is no two hydrogens and four sulfates. A sulfate contains one sulfur and four oxygen. A capital letter always, we spoke about it, a capital letter is the start of an element. So two atoms of hydrogen and four atoms of oxygen and an atomic mass of sulfur. So it would be 2 into 1 plus 1 into 32 plus 4 into 16 is equal to 98 Dalton. See you in the next module.